Um, you know, we, we are just so appreciative of, of your time tonight. Uh, we appreciate the fact that you're willing to, you know, come and share a little bit of your background, share a little bit of your time, but more importantly, share your expertise. Um, before we kind of wrap up, you know, um, you know, maybe if, if it's okay, can you just share a little bit of your experience with your mom? Um, you know, I think one of the things that, that, uh, that's all too often forgotten, um, you know, in, in situations where, you know, people have mobility needs is the caregivers. And so, you know, maybe just highlight what that was like as a kid, um, you know, having to, uh, to assist and help and, and what that experience was like for you. Yeah, it was, you know, for, for me, my mother's, uh, progression into in really into um, mobile having losing her mobility started with a walk you know she went for a walk in the normal normal walk and you know she you know she found that she couldn't go more than one day she couldn't walk more than a quarter mile you know and she was an able-bodied tennis playing um very active um young woman and um you know the progression with her was kind of was kind of slow um, I think that it's one of the reasons I became a chef, um, because, uh, you know, she sort of started, she, and, and at those years too, MS was a very difficult thing to diagnose. So we just knew that she was slowing down, you know, things were, that she was showing symptoms. And, um, but at some point she, you know, we had we were two young, uh, preteens in the house and, uh, we had to learn how to cook for ourselves. And uh, that really was part of it. I did grow up cooking next to my mother, but also that was sort of the final straw that led into me really diving, digging in deep. And at that point, I started really doing what she did. She was a wonderful entertainer at one time, and she loved to cook. And she loved to have kids over. Um, and uh, and so about 12 years old, I really sort of started doing all the holiday meals, you know, 20, 25, 30 people. Um, and... Uh, I, I can't tell you what they were like, but they were, uh, I thought they were great. Um, but, you know, she, um, you know, having a wheelchair <laughs> in a weird way, I mean, it allowed me to do what I, what I, what I am, you know, as a, as a person that is a caregiver, it gave she, the fact that she has mobility, the fact that she can, you know, she has an able, a car that, she, that you know, that's designed for her all these mobility things that she's been able to solve, other people don't have those abilities. And I understand what my life would be like without those tools that she has afforded to her. Um, and uh, it's one of the reasons why I'm here today is because I really care. I mean, I, I understand what somebody's life looks like when they don't have the ability uh, to move uh, beyond a, a four square feet.